Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today, it's all about coffee. I am making two types of coffee drinks today that's super popular in Vietnam. I have tried one of them and the other one, this is my first time making it, but I've heard a lot about. As you guys know, Vietnamese coffee is all about that sweetness, that bitterness, but also that wonderful flavor, aroma, of the richness and the darkness of the coffee. So today we are going to be making cà phê trứng, which is Vietnamese egg coffee. And then we are also going to be making sữa chua cà phê, which is yogurt coffee. When I was in Vietnam for my brother's wedding, I got a chance to try the yogurt coffee and I fell in love. The first one I'm going to be making with you guys is the Vietnamese egg coffee. I've seen this all over the internet. I've heard about it when I was in Vietnam, but I've never gotten to try it myself. And of course, you're going to need to brew your own coffee. I'm using the brand Chung Nguyen. It's the premium coffee brand. Basically, everyone knows Chung Nguyen in Vietnam. It's the most popular brand of coffee. I'm going to go ahead and separate my egg yolks from my egg whites. You're only going to need about two eggs here. I've seen other people done this by hand. Your girl's pretty lazy, so I'm not going to be doing that. And trust me, if you have a hand mixer, this will be so much faster and easier. But hey, if you want to go the hard way, respect. For this, using two egg yolks, I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of condensed milk. The sweetness, honestly, is really up to you guys. If you guys like it really sweet, add as much as I did or even a little bit more. If you don't like it super sweet, don't add as much. Maybe just one tablespoon or half a tablespoon. But for me, I love, I love sweet condensed milk. Especially the brand Sữa Ông Thọ, which is the longevity brand you know the one with the old guy with long beard <laughs> I am sure I can find a picture on Google and I'll just put it in my video I ended up using about three and a half tablespoons of sweetened condensed milk you're gonna whisk this all up until it's super pale super thick and give it a little taste make sure the sweetness is right for you You're gonna really slowly pour this on over your coffee so it has that layer that we all love. And of course, I'm topping this off with a little bit of unsweetened cacao powder. Next, we're gonna be making my favorite kind of coffee, yogurt coffee. Now you're going to be wondering, what in the heck is she talking about? Yogurt coffee? Huh? Well, have you guys ever tried like yogurt flavored coffee? You know, the Chobani one? I think it's delicious. And this will be delicious as well. It is literally the perfect combination of sweetness and tartness. And especially with that like aroma and intensity from the Vietnamese coffee. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Same thing, gotta make your Vietnamese coffee here. For each serving, I use about two tablespoons of ground coffee, pour in about half an inch of water, let that sit and soak and bloom for a minute, and then you add water all the way to the top, cover it up, and then let it do its thing. 
A lot of recipes online I've noticed call for Greek yogurt. I personally don't like Greek yogurt myself. I really like just plain old regular non-Greek yogurt. And that's what I'm using here, just plain yogurt. It's delicious, it's velvety, it's creamy, it's smooth, it doesn't make it super thick. Of course, you can't have Vietnamese coffee without the condensed milk. I added about four spoonfuls of condensed milk here. I added a little bit more, you'll see in a bit. Mix that on up, make sure it covers the whole glass, add on some ice, and get ready for the magic. Both of these recipes are actually pretty fast to make, so while the coffee is brewing, you have enough time to make both of it. Both of these. Look at that. When I was younger, my dad would always order a cup of coffee and he would always let me mix it up. And then I get to lick the, the spoon because it has all the sugar, all the sweetness from the sweetened condensed milk. That's what I think of whenever I make my coffee. Gave it a little taste. It definitely needed more creaminess and a little bit sweeter. So I'm adding more yogurt and more milk here. Now the measurement, I'll link it down below how much I use, but to be honest with you, it really is just up to you how much you like. The yogurt, I use probably about half a cup of yogurt. So I've made this recipe a lot and what I noticed is after putting in the ice, look how creamy and how yummy that looks. If you guys want it to be thicker, what I have been doing is making this overnight and then I would drink this in the morning. The ice would have melted, but it also made the yogurt and the coffee mix even better together and you have such a smooth decadent drink in the morning. It's kind of like more like a smoothie than a coffee at that point. And Willow wanted to join the party. She really likes dairy. Mike and yeah. Cheers. Alrighty fam, I gotta say both of these drinks are delicious. If I had to pick one of my favorite between the two, I would have to say the yogurt coffee because it was a lot easier to make. And it was faster, it's delicious, it's like drinking a smoothie. The egg coffee is delicious within itself, but it still has a little bit of the bitterness if you don't mix it up with the yolk. So, I personally like the yogurt coffee better. Both of them are delicious. So you guys give it a try, let me know which one you guys like, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day, bye!